more challenging questions in the PSLE are capped at 15%. The Education Ministry says the exam is kept at a consistent standard of difficulty across the years. Oh, to understand that PSLE problem, we have two guests with us. Bernard Tan is the centre manager at a tuition centre, Edu First Learning Centre. And Adrian Lim is a family counselling psychologist. Oh, Bernard, let's start with you. Uh, you manage this tuition centre. In fact, the business model for a tuition centre is built on parents and children genuinely feeling pressure over academic work and therefore needing a tuition centre. So for you, uh, when you see this notion of PSLE pressure, do you think it is more than what you think is, is acceptable? Is it real? Does it really exist? Hi, Wisu. Thanks for having me on the program. Uh, yes, uh, the pressure is definitely real. Uh, well, some pressure can have a positive outcome. Uh, such as having you know a positive stress so that students can take ownership of their studies and learn uh, learn responsibility as as well uh, however more often than not uh, we we see the kids experiencing uh, too much pressure which can lead to negative stress or what we call distress and, and this can actually impact their mental well-being and in turn uh, affect their grades yeah because uh, that being said, kids, they, they just can't handle pressure as, as well as adults. They have not been through the life experiences. Uh, adults face pressure when they, when say, going for a job interview, but they are just better able to manage stress. All right, we are going to ask uh, Adrian in a moment uh, the difference between negative and positive stress, but I'll stay on you for one more question, Bernard. Uh, this mathematics, uh, this 2019 question that we heard about earlier on the bulletin, uh, a lot of attention on social media, unhappiness yes. by parents over what they feel is an undue, unduly challenging problem. Uh, do you find students stressing more over mathematics papers because they think, based on this one question, it's going to be very difficult? Yes, uh, that is unfortunately true. Uh, we do see a high uh, take-up rate for math programs. Uh, there is one group of parents uh, which have the perception that, that math is, is, is the toughest subject in the PSLE, uh, and they, they basically want to make sure that their children uh, you know, uh, will have so-called whatever benefit or advantage they, they can academically through academic coaching. Uh, but we also do have uh, another group that believe uh, math compared to, say, uh, a language subject. Uh, for example, uh, they can see greater gains in terms of their academic grades uh, in a shorter uh, span of time uh, being coached. But that being said, I think why most parents uh, place a lot of emphasis on math and, and you know, when, for example, you mentioned, uh, you know, when there's a so-called challenging question, uh, you know, they're they are up in arms and they say, why so difficult? It's, it's because most parents, uh, to my understanding, agree that uh, math basically is the most practical uh, subject, the most practical application when, they so -called, when the kids grow up. So they really place a uh, bigger emphasis on ensuring that their, kid, their children are uh, so-called uh, uh, adequate and able to so-called handle math questions. All right, let's and, bring... And it, is, uh, it is what it is. I'm, I'm sorry for cutting in there. Let's bring Adrian uh, in right now. Let's pick up on what uh, Bernard said earlier about positive and negative stress. Positive stress being something that is actually a good thing to have, but negative stress, not so much. Uh, how should we identify negative stress and therefore uh, realise that there's something we should be addressing when a child is facing an examination? All right. Uh, let's basically understand a little bit what stress is all about. Stress is everything that we do every day. And there's a difference between positive or you stress, EU stress, and distress as what Bernard has shared earlier. And the uh, challenge is basically about coping, right? Because different strokes for different folks, huh? and all of us manage our stress differently, right? And it's only when you're not able to cope or manage the stress that it becomes distress, right? And becomes negative, so to speak. So it's all about coping and getting the sufficient support that the students require or any of us require. And the issues are very much not only with the students, but also as the overall school 
education or I rather, I rather call it academic environment in Singapore where meritocracy, right, sees the best getting the best result getting very much more uh, advantage than the others. So it's basically getting us to recognize, right, to what extent can a child manage uh, stress or unless it becomes or else it becomes distressed. So Adrian, uh, all these years, an MOE has been trying to bring down stress levels and uh, apparently not quite managing to do that over the PSLE. You'd say the idea is not to manage stress, but they should be helping students cope with that stress. Yeah, this is the key to me is coping, right? I mean, even in a, in a school system or even a tuition centre, you're basically helping a student come up with strategies, methodologies, right, to cope with a challenging question like maps, right, especially the last two, three questions in the, in the last section. Right? It's basically managing it and using strategies, right, but I also want to add the emotional and psychological support, especially from the parents, right? If the stakes are, because we are, we are talking about high stakes examination, and a high stakes examination, high expectation is soaring. And a lot is pinned into what is required and what is the consequence of getting a certain results, whether previously it's A star, now it's A1, AL1. So that, that is something that we need to really uh, get a grip on. And, and by the way, any ex um, for maths especially, you're, you're talking about uh, logical mathematics skills. There are seven other intelligences that is so much more important in real life situation that we are not sufficiently educating them on, right? That's, All right. That's uh, uh, for sorry talk. for cutting in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Adrian. All right, final question to both of you. Now, essentially, an, whether PSLE or any kind of assessment, it is an assessment. And the very nature of assessment means someone will fail and someone will succeed. That is also life, not just PSLE. Is there anything that parents or schools can do to make a life, PSLE schooling, less stressful so that children not just manage the stress of an examination, but manage the stress of failing and succeeding. I'll we'll start with you first, Bernard. Uh, yes, as you rightly pointed out, uh, it is what it is. Uh, the national exam is basically, uh, you know, it's to categorize uh, the students uh, based on the academic ability. So uh, for now, there's no escaping that. But I think uh, having a solid foundation is crucial. Uh, the earlier the child begins his preparation for the PSLE, uh, the less stressful he or she will feel in general. And of course, uh, parents will need to uh, support and assist as to how the child prepares for his PSLE. Basically, when you have a longer runway, there is more time for preparation, and then it should reduce the stress levels for these students. All right, so Adrian, Identifying you... knowledge gaps and working on them mm, systematically oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, will be helpful. All right? Yes. Mm. Uh, please finish, and then Adrian can pick up. So I would say... Yes. Yeah, I would say it's basically quality uh, over quantity. And also, you know, parents and educators, they need to communicate with each other to ensure that their child gains the knowledge in a systematic and incremental manner rather than, you know, burning the midnight oil. And that, that's where all the stress and, and, and stress stressors come in. All right, Adrian, pick up on that and uh, wrap up this argument. Yeah, it's, it's very much to, on the whole issue of how a child is valued, right? The sense of uh, self-worth. And in any high-stakes examination, all the, the, the eggs are all in one basket in this academic uh, achievement mode that we are in. So as parents, they need to manage up the other aspects that will bring up the worth of the child rather than just only in the academic pursuit, right? There are so many other uh, intelligences, talents, abilities that they also need to look at, right? And, and as, as the system goes, the academic system goes, it's so important to also for parents, right, to look at it because the child must always remember they are made for more. 
they are more than their results, any, any grades that are produced. And this is something that parents, teachers know well, but sometimes get over-enthusiastic about getting the result. They expect their, their, their child to get in order for them, not only for the child's uh, moving on to secondary education, but sometimes it's also reflect on their own parenting quality. And that is something we need to differentiate and help parents understand, right? The self of the child is vital and he's much more than just a great. And thanks for that, Mr. Adrian Lim, a family counselling psychologist, and before him, Bernard Tan, Centre Manager at a Tuition Centre, EduFirst Learning Centre. <laughs>